They had a problem in the Pacific. This plane was outturned and sometimes outsped and outclimbed by this plane, so they had to come up with a tactic. The tactic they came up with was a thatch weave. Now, basically, you take one plane and then you take another. Uh, plane A is going to scissor across horizontally to the left, and plane B is going to scissor to the right. Uh, when they get there to the other side, they're just going to reverse it, and they're just going to scissor back and forth across each other. Now, it's all fun and games until enemy C shows up. Let's talk about the offense first. Now, the first thing that's going to happen is uh, the enemy is going to turn right or left. Uh, in this case, plane B is going to pursue while plane A is going to go left. He's not going to turn right with that plane. He's going to make sure there's plenty of room. Plane B has a shot. But as usual, the Japanese are going to take some kind of big old turn, but now plane A has a shot. On the defense, plane A and plane B are there doing the thatch weave, and enemy D comes up behind. Uh, plane A is in a bad way, but he's going to cut left, and plane B, he's going to start cutting right. Now, what he's got is he's got a high deflection shot coming up, and he's going to go ahead and take it. Uh, paste him right there. Uh, and then he's going to loop around and look straight. Now, as plane A comes back around, now he's giving him the tail. The enemy either has to back off, or he's going to get shot down. Pretty PowerPoint's one thing, but let's take a look on how that looks uh, in film here. This is an Ace AI, that's me to the left, and the quick mission builder. Here's two Ace uh, Zeros, uh, same year group there. Uh, boo! And this is us coming in. Now I tell him to attack, and the first thing he does is he comes around to do the merge, and you notice he's cutting left, so I'm going to go ahead and cut right. He takes a snapshot of the fella, and starts going around. I'm going to go around with him. Now, see that second guy? I'm going to ignore him because I've got to stay with my wingman. Alright, that's a picture of me and I'm coming around. Now if you notice, here he is and he's cutting to the right so I'm going to cut to the left. Takes a snapshot and now I'm going to cut to the right as he cuts to the left. Always ready for the support. We're going to see what that Japanese fellow is going to do. Uh, once again, you can see how I'm Fall him around. Now I've got to stay with him. It's not going to be perfect all the time, but you want to keep that basic scissor. Uh, you can see there, here we go. Uh, almost a vertical scissors there. And he carries around. And once again, I'm doing that scissor to see which way that Japanese fellow is going to pop out. Uh, this also protects us against that other fellow that's out there we don't know about. In this case, uh, I'm going to take a high guard position and, uh, well, my wingman does a great job there, so. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pop high and see if I can keep some altitude. Remember that second fella? Well, here he comes. Now he's zooming right past my wingman, and he's going to come around. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle my mouse around. So look at that cheater AI. See him just flip around like that? And hey, there's two planes in the air, me and AI. Guess which one the ace goes for? Yeah, you got that right. So. I'm going to go ahead and start looking for my wingman. I'm flying towards my wingman, and I'm going to keep going left and right. Don't ever fly straight. Now, there's my wingman. And uh, here's one of them Duke moments. That dart boy was in a lot of trouble. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start s around, because there's my wingman coming in. Look at that. So he's, gonna, he's looking for the high deflection, and I'm not just going to snap roll crazy kind of stall, but that worked out okay. All right? You notice you know, he's got his tail, so he's got to do something. Well, he backs up and goes for the dive. That's me. And now I'm in support of the wingman. I'm no longer the lead. Uh, you got to give up that lead whenever you have to, to to survive and get the bad guy. Now he's carrying him through so I've got to play catch up. Uh, they were going a little faster than me. Thanks to my great evasive maneuver there that I, trust me, I planned that awful snap roll near stall. Uh, in this case he starts to pepper him. I'm coming in. I'm looking to see which way he's going. Can't quite get that scissor thing going. But see how he fades right there? He got snookered. And the Japanese fellow went high, but I was in position to take him up. It's a high deflection shot, but a pretty simple one. And let's go ahead and just prepper that cockpit right about convergence. And we'll follow him on through. And, and I can never hit anything in a straight dive. But he's going pretty fast, so let me get out of there. Uh, I guess I did hit him in the cockpit. Nice little splash. Ain't that pretty? and uh, come on up and you're never supposed to do this but I went ahead and did it it's a barrel roll right and uh, get ready and look for my fellow wingman give myself a big old smile there it is and watch my wingman come up to form up nice and pretty get ready for the next guy 
And he's probably gonna have to try to watch my terrible carrier landing. Man, they said we better accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, do not mess with Mr. In Between. Do you hear them? <laughs>